Hey Fiddle Fiddle has a perfect sit just over a length off the leader and now trying to split the front pair. Magellini's last as they approach the entrance to the home straight. Two furlongs out and it's Villa Reigns with Hey Fiddle Fiddle now ranging up alongside. Magellini has taken third. Look at me now hanging off the turn has dropped back to be last of all. Hey Fiddle Fiddle picks up the running as they approach the final furlong. Moves towards the inside rail beginning to shift left handed. Magellini's coming from off the pace to take second off Villa Reigns but Hey Fiddle Fiddle and William Carson pushing out with hands and heels goes on to win the opener comfortably by more than two lengths. Second place has gone to Magellini. Villa Reigns was third and look at me now was the first beaten and came home last. Making headway on the outside now is Stag Hill in front of Mr. Red Clubs and the two at the back are still struggling to land any sort of a blow, jorking and clean bold. Racing round the home turn, they're inside the two. Abshir Zane is quickening off the front end, leads them in by two lengths. Not bad for a boy hard ridden in pursuit with Fort Rose Academy. Down the outside, Mr. Red Clubs is now closing in on the leader, Abshir Zane. They've got less than 200 yards to go. Mr. Red Clubs now hits the front on the inside, Abshir Zane has no more to give and Mr. Red Clubs under Shane Kelly goes on to win race two by just less than a length. Abshir Zane ran home second, Staghill third. Not bad for a boy was fourth in front of Clean Bowl, Chelsea Mick, Fortrose Academy and Jorking. Quickens off a steady pace inside the two. Ezra Church a length in front of Bawadi without prejudice on the outside of Stevie G. One way or another is coming there strongly towards the inside and Faithful Ruler also holds every chance. They're four deep inside the last. One way or another. One off the rail has gone on from Bawadi. Ezra Church between the two on the outside. Bawadi wearing down one way or another. Bawadi gets up close home from one way or another though it's tight. Ezra Church in third followed in by Faithful Ruler and King Swinford plugging on behind those. Less than a half mile to go in Chosen Forever in the black and yellow picks up the running from Fastnet Storm. Follow the flag is about to go off in pursuit of the new leader. Gritstone is racing three lengths off the front in fourth place with Fakur on the inside next and after those making ground on the wide outside is Hidden Glory. They're approaching the final quarter of a mile. Chosen Forever is the leader from Follow the Flag, Gritstone, Fastnet Storm on their inside and those are trying to break clear from Honey of a Kitten who stages a rally to go fifth off the turn but Chosen Forever is the leader heading down to the final furlong. Follow the flag on the inside. Gritstone coming down the outer after those precious little finishing except for Opus Maximus who's finishing well on the inside. Chosen Forever from Opus Maximus. Hayley Turner coming from last to first. Picks it up inside the last and wins a Shea cleverly. Opus Maximus got there from Chosen Forever. Tight for third. Follow the flag and Honey of a Kitten with Gritstone Jordora and Snowdown answer in pursuit our matching strides tornado force in the red and white is third boas rider now asking for an effort whoop whoop is in the clear then comes pelham crescent and kames park crunched has kicked for home passing the two but tornado force is close enough whoop whoop is coming around the outside and holds every chance as well leveling for home tornado force and ryan moore now quick and pass crunch and readily go clear whoop whoop now picks up the pieces runs into second kames park is running on from the back but tornado force Soon had the race in safekeeping at the top of the home straight and will win by a wide margin. Tornado forced by half a dozen lengths ahead of Whoop Whoop, Crunched and Kames Park. Pelham Crescent never figured. Boa was next and Yossi finished last. First, number four, Tornado Force. Prince Al Zane is keeping tabs with him though Dr Albert is beginning to lose touch as they approach the entrance to the home straight. They've got two and a half furlongs to go. Harvard and Yale with the advantage. A length and a half in front of Prince Al Zane as they race into the home straight. Dr Albert has been readily burned off and Prince Al Zane now tries to throw down a challenge on the inside of Harvard and Yale. There's only a half length in it as they flash past the furlong pole and Prince Al Zane has hit the front inside the last. Prince Al Zane moving on by half length Harvard and Yale's rider accepts it near the line and Prince Alzane causes a bit of a turn up Harvard and Yale beaten into second place and Dr Albert beaten a long way last of the trio